Hi, this is Leah from Palm and Grace. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for purchasing our simple content planner. I'm so excited for you to use a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is basically what I would want if I was a content creator. So before we begin, there's a couple things I just want to note. First of all, we have a five spaces version of the spreadsheet and a 10 spaces version of the spreadsheet. We also will probably offer the spreadsheet in different colors. So if you have purchased a different color version of the spreadsheet, all the features will work the exact same. The colors will just be different. Here is what the five spaces spreadsheet will look like versus the 10 spaces spreadsheet. If you've purchased the five spaces one, but you realize you want the 10 spaces one, just send us a message and we'll help you to adjust your purchase. And one quick thing to note is that because of the way the spreadsheet is designed, you can't really add your own rows. It gets really complicated. So that's just something important to note. So let's get into how to use the spreadsheet. So the very first tab that you're going to want to go to is the start tab. Now, when you open your spreadsheet, this is going to be blank, but as you can see, I filled in some different things here. The very first thing you'll want to do is type in the year. So I typed in 2023 because that's the current year, but if it's 2024 or any other later year, you can just type in that and everything will update accordingly. The next thing you want to do is check off which day of the week you start your week with. I know some places start on Sunday and some on Monday, so we've customized a spreadsheet so that it will work for either. After that, you can go in and add up to eight platforms, up to 12 categories, up to 12 content pillars, and up to 12 status options. Now it's important to note that if you only have, for example, four platforms that you use, it's totally fine to leave it at four. You do not need to fill out all of the options in these lists. Once you've filled out the start tab, you can then move on to the content ideas tab. The content ideas tab is a nice place to organize different content ideas that you have. So for example, say you wanted to have a post about how you got your puppy. You can include it in the content ideas for Instagram posts. So you can refer back to this whenever you need some content inspiration. And once you've created the content or used it, you can simply just cross it off just like that. You can scroll left and right and it will give you a space for each of the platforms that you listed. The next tab is the hashtag groups tab. Now this is a really helpful tab if you use different hashtags or different groups and you want to keep track of them. So for example, you could name a group. So maybe you want to have a group for your post about your puppies. And then you can include the hashtag. So you'll have to type in the hashtag symbol and then add in a hashtag. And then when you click enter, the character count will be updated here. This can be helpful if you're going to be including the hashtags in your caption to be able to see how much space it will take up. The next tab is the copy tab. So we'll actually come back to this tab later on to better understand what it's used for. But for now, just know that there is a copy tab and it looks like this. Now for the fun stuff, we're finally getting into the content calendars. So here's some examples of what the blank calendars will look like. A couple things that I want to note are that the current date is displayed up here. If this is ever not updated, all you have to do is simply refresh the screen and it should update. Also, these months right here are actually images. So you cannot type over these. If you try to type over them, the image will disappear and the format will be different. Everything else will be updated for you. So the order of the days of the week will be updated based on if you start with Sunday or Monday and the days of the month will also be updated. So as you can see, the first day of this month is on Saturday and the last day of this month is on a Sunday. So the way that you use these content calendars is you select from the drop down the type of content that you'll be creating. So for example, maybe I want to create an Instagram reel. So once you add in different medias, different colors will appear based on the medias that you're inserting. So each type of media will have their own assigned color. And the different color options look like this. Now here's an example of what your calendar may look like when more is added. Now you may notice that on the far left side of the screen there are plus signs. So what these are for is they are expandable rows that will give you your content creation areas. So for example, if I wanted to plan out the Instagram post that I was going to create on Monday, April 3rd, I would click the plus sign in that row and this drop down will appear. Each row has its own content creation area. So you can plan for every single type of content that you insert. And here's an example of what that looks like a little more when it's a bit more filled out. 
Each content planner has a space to add an image, to add a description, the category, which is drawn from the Start tab, the content pillar, which is also drawn from the Start tab, a caption, hashtags, a character count, which will update automatically. You do not need to input anything here. A link if you need one, the status, and any other notes. These collapsible content planners make it really easy to see from a calendar view what you have planned for the day and from a very up close view to see exactly what is in the content that you want to post. And again, you just need to click the plus and minus signs on the sidebar for it to appear and disappear. Adding in images is super easy. I created all these graphics in Canva, actually with a 1000 by 1000 dimension, and I saved them to my computer. To add in the image, you just click the blank box, then you go to insert, image, this is very important, you want to do image in cell, and then you can upload from your computer the image that you want to include. You can also check any of these off when they are finished. So maybe it's once you've created them or once they're posted, you can decide how you want to do the checks. Now, one thing that I want to know about these tabs is that if you want to delete any of the dropdowns, you have to do so in a specific way. It does not work for you to highlight them all and press delete. If you do that, then you accidentally delete all the stuff in the content planning area. Instead, you can either delete them one by one which works totally fine. Or you can hold command or control on your keyboard and click multiple at once. As long as you're not clicking and dragging, it should be okay and everything will appear. Now say you accidentally deleted part of the content planning area. This is where the copy tab comes in. If you accidentally delete a section, you can easily add it back in by highlighting this section, copying it, which you can do by control C or command C, or right clicking and clicking copy. Now you can go right to the top box and do command V, control V, or right click or double click and click paste. Everything will be added back in except for the date. Now it's up to you whether you want to add back in the date because you can see it above, but if you want to, you can click the blank box, type in the equal sign, and then click the day that you want it to link to. Then click return, and the date should be added back in. So it's very simple. Again, it's not ideal, but we wanted to include the copy tab just in case this issue ever occurs for you. If you run into any major issues, send us a message and we'll be more than happy to help you out. So again, those are all the basics on how you can use this content planner. I'm so excited for you guys to use it. There are so many different things you can do with it to help you efficiently plan out your content. And I think the content planner areas, which are collapsible, are a really amazing feature of this calendar. As you can see, you can get a really good view of what you have to post and when. And the color-coded options make it really easy to see what types of content you want to post. Again, I really hope that you love this content calendar. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us. We are more than happy to help you. And that wraps it up for our video tutorial. Thank you so much again for your purchase and for shopping with Palm and Grace. Again, if you need any help at all, please reach out to us, or if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to help you. I hope that you love using the spreadsheet.